So welcome to Treewell Acres Disc Golf Course. Now, huge sh shout out to my friend Nick Price for providing the video footage of this course. Uh, so since he's the one that actually shot all this video footage, I've actually never been there, much less even thrown this course. But after watching the videos that he sent me and going through the editing process and everything, I gotta tell you, I'm really excited to uh, get the opportunity to get up in the Libby area and throw this course. It's a really nice looking course. I really love how it's very well maintained. As you can see, they got like bark and everything around the concrete, tee pads. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but at the very back end of the tee pads is actually the number of the, uh, of the hole that you're throwing at. So I thought that was kind of a neat idea instead of having posts, you know, uh, next to the tee pads and stuff like that. It's got the distance and I'm not sure if the par is located in there as well, but it definitely has like the distance and the hole number of uh, on each start pad. So I thought that was really cool. Again, thank you very much, Nick Price, for uh, providing this video footage to Disc Golf Course Tour so that we could add this to the website. Now, to talk a little bit more about this course, as you can see, it's uh, pretty well tree you know a lot of trees a lot of uh different things like that for the most part that makes this course to be a little bit of a challenging course now when i was talking to nick he said that this uh back hole and all these logs and stuff that you see that he's walking through right now actually isn't normally there so uh, that was just a coincidence at the time that he was th uh, videotaping this course so when you head up there obviously that's not going to be an obstruction that's going to be in the way at hole six so um, yeah, for the most part though, this is in a park. This course is located, if you've noticed um, behind us at this video right now, there's like some kind of, uh, looks like maybe soccer fields or softball fields or something like that. That's kind of on the other side of things over there. But the disc golf course is kind of in its own separate entity, kind of nestled into all these trees. As you can see, it's very well maintained. Um, you don't have to deal with a bunch of tall grass and adding the bark around the baskets and around the tee pads I thought was a really cool touch so huge shout out to whoever designed this course and a huge thank you to everyone who participates in making sure that it is well maintained and again another huge thank you to Nick Price for providing the video footage of this course so I just want to take a few minutes here and ask that if you are enjoying this video up to this point, please feel free to smash that like button. If you are a subscriber to the Disc Golf Course Tours YouTube channel, I want to say thank you very much. We appreciate your support there. If you're not a subscriber, please uh, support us by hitting that subscribe button. Uh, we can't thank you enough for that. So as we go finish throughout this course, uh, we pretty much have covered uh, the bulk of it. I mean, it's um, it's pretty much the same like this throughout the majority of the course. It's, it's flat and it's just got these trees and different things like that around it. There is garbage cans uh, throughout the course, but so please be respectful to make sure to use the garbage cans. And if you don't use the garbage cans, then make sure you, if you pack it in, make sure you pack it out. So with all that being said, uh, I, the only other thing that I want to add about this particular course is that there is a walkway that kind of uh, zigzags and kind of goes in and out of this course. So if there is uh, people walking on those trailways, please be give them the right of way, be cautious of that so that nobody gets hurt with a distance driver. The last thing you want to do is knock someone out, you know, for just walking down the trail. So like I said earlier, the numbers are located at the back end of those concrete uh, start pads and the baskets are also numbered. So it does make navigating this course a little easier for sure. But if you do get a little lost and a little confused as far as where the next start pads are or where the whole locations are and different things like that, please feel free to use the satellite images. We do provide that for this course as well, like any other course that we upload to our website. And to get access to that link, just click on that in the description uh, below this video. And if you want to get any other detailed information as far as uh, the Treewell Acres Disc Golf Course, we also have the main course page link posted in this description of this video as well. So we're basically pretty much here close to the end. I'm going to wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And a huge thank you again to Nick Price for providing the video footage. And thank you to all of our subscribers here at Disc Golf Course Tours. 
On that note, enjoy the rest of your day, my friends, and we'll see you in the next course.